Hey up lads, Kosh here from Kosh Bushcraft. This is my power station I've been making uh, for while I'm out camping and stuff like that. Well, mainly it's for my boat so that I can uh, charge my phone and use lights and whatnot, other bits and bobs off of it, uh, pump and stuff for my boat and whatnot. But uh, yep, yeah. here she is. It's not uh, my idea to put it in a 50 cal uh, ammo box it's done by a guy I think it's JD Outdoors uh, the tutorial video on it uh, brilliant video really good I mean I chose to to build it as my own same as anybody else does you know what I mean changed a few little bits that I didn't like on it and stuff like that as you all do you know what I mean but the basically all the wiring and stuff uh, is there on the tutorial it was very helpful um, looks brilliant looks brilliant if you look on ebay these are better than the ones you can buy the ones that you're buying on ebay that people are all making they're putting them in like bait buckets and fucking terminal electric terminal boxes and all sorts of stuff like that but none of them look as good as this boy it's a uh, plain or 50 cal ammo box um lovely ABS plastic or whatever you want to call it uh, clips in rubber sealed and all that lot perfect little little thing to house the the electrics I'm just gonna wire it up because it wasn't wired up it was actually just sat on charged on charge uh, if you get if you get a power station like this you want to be leaving it on float charge constantly because if you don't uh, you're just throwing battery away at the end of the year anyway mate so get it on float charge have it plugged in all the time make sure it's a decent float charge and you should be cushy you know what I mean but uh, yeah I went slightly different route to his um, slightly different route to what he took um, I went from I didn't want to have the lights all the way down the switches and stuff which is in his video and uh, also the voltmeter on his it, it, it turns when, when he turns the main switch on which you'll see in a minute his voltmeter and everything and all these switches and everything light up like a Christmas tree and I didn't want to waste power I mean I know these little LEDs use a tiny little bit of energy and so does probably that voltmeter but a tiny bit of energy is energy <laughs> at the end of the day you know what I mean um, but yeah basically I went for a mains power switch there so you know everything's on uh, 12 volt socket there for plugging car charger, cigarette lighter charger sort of thing. Power for that. Uh, jacks. That's these. The banana jacks. These they're actually used more for um, audio and stuff like that. But the they're, they're great because you can plug stuff straight directly into them and stuff like that. Hold on, let me show you. Get these little banana jacks and LED strip lights and stuff like that and whack them in turn your jacks on oh that looks bright on camera Jesus Christ um, yeah so jacks that this one here turns both these sets of jacks on uh, then I've got my USB slot charging phones and whatnot which is the main thing that I need it for because I go out in the middle of nowhere and I need to be able to know kids are safe and if all happens to me and then I've got my voltmeter there we have it voltmeter I, put, I chose to put the voltmeter on its own switch so that I can check the voltage when I'm using it and then flip it off when I'm not using it uh, this but this I can charge it straight through these jacks or the 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter this uh, runs from my outboard so my outboard charges it as I go along um, 
So basically, uh, if I turn the, the mains power switch on, if I'm charging it through this or them, I just have to put the main switch on and whatever switch it is, I'm charging it through like the jacks, for instance, you put that on, uh, plug it into there, and then when I'm running my outboard, I'm charging the battery as I'm using it sort of thing. That's the general idea. But uh, let's, have a, let's have a little look inside. got a 12 amp battery which is uh, pretty much the biggest one they're selling on eBay not the biggest battery they're selling obviously it's not but when they're doing the power packs that's like the the dearer end of the power pack uh, 12 this is a mobility scooter good good battery uh, they're only about 22 quid at battery you know what I mean you could probably get a couple if you run them in, in parallel into it that's options for other years when this battery's at it but for now 12 amps seems to be doing well and like I say because I'm because I'm charging it directly from the outboard it's always getting topped up anyway uh, let's show you the wiring um, six way fuse blocks not that I need it I only used five but um, it's only five in use. Really simple wiring. Go around, it's not hard. Put six fuses in so everything has its own fuse. Uh, the guy's voltmeter were plugged before the battery, meaning that the voltmeter won't fuse, which I didn't like. So I put the voltmeter on its own fuse. That's why it said it, it has its own switch and whatnot. That was just my preferences. Probably safe to do it the way he's done because the guy knew what he were on about. But I just like to have it not lit up like a Christmas tree as well. Do a bit of hunting and stuff. You know what I mean? Don't want to be seen. Uh, but yeah, that's the basic wiring. Uh, the fuse box the guy used was uh, one in and six out mine was six in and six out when it came I, mean, I didn't know not about them so I just ordered one but uh, so I had to daisy chain it in simple you know what I mean daisy chain them all together before you to run it into one sort of lead but basically no problems everything went smoothly quite easy to wire in looks more complicated than they are to be honest with you once you get on with it uh, your off skis but yeah that's the inside nice little box uh, I've done a few accessories and stuff uh, which I'll just show you now on camera I'll show you that but I'll have to move yeah, it so basically can a cigarette lighter stuck in there mains power on 12 volt on uh oh just a car stereo basically knocked into a bit of a uh, Bit of an old fishing box, I had, believe it or not. <laughs> um, oh shit, what am I doing? Hold on. For all the times that you ran on my parade, and all the clubs you get in using my name, got a nice sound on it. You think you Goes. broke my heart, oh girl, for goodness. It was really loud, but obviously it'd be draining your battery. You think I'm crying on my own while I Turn that off before I get copyrighted. Uh, <laughs> but basically, yeah, um, car stereo hooked up for my boat. Like I said, boat will be charging battery and then I can run my car stereo without having to drain it. Uh, I'll just uh, whack that down there for a minute. But yeah, I think the only thing I missed off that box was uh, the lights, which is uh, Eagle Eye LED. Let me just focus for a second there. Eagle Eye LED. I mean, it doesn't look much in daylight here, but uh, it's a beast on a night, 15 watts it is, if anybody's interested. Uh, you can check your voltage while you're using stuff and whatnot. 
But yeah, that's it basically. Good little system, well worth making. Proper worth making. Good little project as well. You learn a lot while you're doing it. Uh, useful item. Yeah, basically. But anyway, it's Camper Kosh signing out.